everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Bugger Designs. I'm gonna show you how to make this really easy triangle box. Um, it truly is pretty simple, and I think it would be a great option if you had to make, you know, like a lot of, of something, maybe, you know, 20 or 30 of something for a group. Um, these, are, these are pretty easy, and they don't <clears throat> necessarily require any dies for the actual box construction. But I am using the Trimming the Tree stamp set with the limited time only, uh, tree trimming dies. These are a special time offer during September, 2022, and they coordinate with this great stamp set. If you need a Christmas tree stamp set, this is the one you should get. Look at all these little accessories um, to put on your tree. It's even got two, one's a basket, one's a little, um, like a little planter. It's very cute. So that's what we're gonna make. And um, I have two other videos over on my blog if you are looking for other ideas. Um, on using the trimming the tree bundle. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is make our box. Now, um, the link here on YouTube will take you back to my original Facebook Friday post where we made this box, and it'll have this PDF right here. It's free. It has um, dimensions and supplies for both the, all three projects, and the measurements that you need for this project are right here on the bottom of the second page. We're using garden green, and you're going to need a piece that it's just a half sheet of cardstock, five and a half by eight and a half, and you're going to score it at four and a fourth. All right, now you're gonna need a ruler and we're going to make a mark up here in the middle, right up here at the middle um, of your of the short side. And you can use your stylus or you can use your take your pick tool, whichever one works, they both work, or even your bone folder. We're gonna make a mark right in the middle at two and three fourths, okay? Now you wanna take your ruler and line it up with this, the edge of this score line and that mark that you made. And then draw a diagonal line with your scoring tool. All right, and then do it again over here like that. Now do the same thing on the other end, two and three fourths, and then line it up with the edge like that. And there you have it. Now, get your bone folder and we're gonna burnish these lines really nice and sharp, okay? So you've created a score line with that um, scoring tool and your ruler, but it's not as crisp as it would be if you were using your, your Simply Scored. So um, you want to make sure that you're watching what you're doing and bending it right along that line. Okay. All right. Now, all you have to do now is just fold it up like that. And there's your box. I mean, so easy. So um, I'm going to take a regular hole punch right here and I'm going to punch a hole, close one side and stick your hole punch in there and punch, and then punch down here like that. Then I'm gonna take, I've got just some Hershey Nuggets. You can put any kind of candy. I think this is a good box for Hershey Kisses, actually. Um, put those in there. You wanna make sure that, you know, both, whatever side's gonna go over needs to be on both sides, right? So that the edges are soft on, one side, if that makes sense, you know, see what I'm saying? So that it's not open flap on on one side. <laughs> you guys know what I'm saying? You wanna make sure that both sides flap over the same way. I don't know what I'm trying to say, but I think you guys probably understand. <laughs> All right, thread your silver threaded twine through these holes right here, if I can get it to come through. Oh, come on. One thing you can also do is adhere one side because really they only need to um, open up one side to get to the candy. All right, and then pull it through over here like that and just tie it closed. And there's your box. So as you can see, simple, not difficult at all. 
Now we're going to decorate it with the sweetest Christmas designer series paper. And again, you're going to mark this in half. This is a piece of DSP that measures five and a fourth by uh, three and seven eighths. And on the long side, you're gonna score it, so it's five and a fourth, so half of that would be two and five eighths. So just put a little mark there, okay? And then grab your trimmer. And line it up in the gutter of your trimmer, the, the little mark that you made and the bottom corner, and cut it. And then do the same with the other corner. And now you've got a piece of DSP that is gonna fit on your box perfectly. See that? All right, so let's adhere that using my stamp and seal. And you can do both sides if you want, but I'm just gonna do one side. There we go. Well, I didn't get that all very straight, but I think it's stuck now, so we're just gonna go with it. And I've got another strip of the same DSP that we're gonna put across like that. And then you can trim it, whoops. Trim like that, okay? Now, let's make the decoration. We're gonna stamp that tree. Let me get everything where it needs to be out of the way and we're going to use the stamp apparatus here this is a larger stamp it's actually a two-step stamp but we're just going to do one step we only need to do um we want we're going to we're going to um emboss these lights so we just need a light tree in the back all right so get your tree put it wherever you're going to want and we're actually gonna stamp off. So that means we're gonna use that grid paper to get some of that ink off of our tree. So I'm using Garden Green. And then I'm just gonna set my idea, or my basic white cardstock and stamp it like that. Okay, so you have kind of a light tree where these gold um, lights are gonna show up. All right, get your embossing buddy and really rub it on there because we don't want the embossing powder to stick to that inked image. We just want it to stick to our Versamark that we're gonna stamp the lights in. Okay, now I've got gold embossing powder and sprinkle that on, it looks pretty good. And we'll hit it with a heat tool, and then we're gonna cut it out with our new dies. All right, once your embossed image is nice and shiny, that's when you know you have hit it with a heat tool long enough. We're gonna stamp the sentiment over on this other side in real red. And then we'll bring over our cut and emboss machine. Now I've also got a piece of distressed gold paper. We're gonna cut out some of those stars to go with our tree. And we'll put this on here. We wanna get it to situate it just right. Now my paper's a little bit curled because we uh, put heat on it. So if you need to, um, if you need some help with your tree, you know, if you can't get the die on there right, use some post-it tape. All right, we'll do, we've got five star dies. And let's see if we can put that down and get it all cut at the same time. Perfect. Now these little dies will get lost, so make sure you put them back right away. Take it from me, the lost die expert. Okay, now all I'm gonna do is just take a little bit of Tombow for these stars and put them around. And you can use your take your pick tool, the little putty end 
We'll pick those up and set them down nicely. Like that. Okay, let's bring over our box. And now all you need are dimensionals. Now I cut the sentiment out with that label that is from the same dies. It's a great one. I turned it on its side instead of like that to, to uh, fit our sentiment just right. And we're gonna put that right there. And there you have it. I hope you're ready for Christmas. I hope you've started thinking about your Christmas crafts. Um, this would make a great treat box. Um, as you saw, really easy to put together. All right, make sure you click the link here on YouTube, hop back over to my blog, grab that free PDF, check out my other two projects, and let me know if you have questions. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.